I'm Eugene Kane, Metro columnist for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Young people are in the news a lot in Milwaukee these days due to disturbances at River West neighborhood, State Fair Park. I'd like to talk to a bunch of young people in Milwaukee and get their impressions on how a lot of these negative news stories are affecting them. So we've got a group here and I'd like to ask them to start off to tell people, how do you feel about your age group being portrayed so negatively in the news these days. Hi, I'm David Hatcher, and the portrayal of young youth in the city is it's um it's bad because not everyone is doing that, but a certain a certain selected group of people are doing it, and it's just taking out on everyone. This has been a racial story in a lot of ways. Do you feel it is negatively? hurting the image of young black people like yourself? Give us your name. Um, I'm Kali, and yes, I do feel that they are mainly focusing on the African-American youth, and it really like hurts me personally because me being African-American and I'm only 18 years old, people expect me to act a certain way, to do certain things, and not every 18-year-old black girl does mm -hmm. the things that they did in River West, the things that they do at the malls, the things they did to stay fair. So it's kind of troubling to prove how I am to some people because I fit perfectly for that demographic and what they expect. And it's making a lot of white people afraid of young it black is. people. Um, yeah. Do you have any opinions on the racial part of this story where perhaps people in the white community have a sense that they have to be afraid when they see young black people like this? Yet you seem very comfortable around these young black people. <laughs> Um, my name is Jenny Tassie, and I agree completely with what you're saying, you know. I tell my friends that I volunteer at the Holton Youth and Family Center, and they kind of have to pause for a second, and they take it in a different way than, you know, my parents or someone closer to me might. Um, it's for sure really sad, the stereotype that has been put on this community. Um, and I think that doing things like COA and the Holton Youth and Family Center, showing the positive parts of this community, which obviously there are, is what's key in getting rid of that stereotype. And a, a lot of things that have happened, there was a convenience store looted right down the block here. There were people attacked at State Fair. This is some real hard criminal type activities. Do you brothers know any of these type of people in this community? How would you explain their actions? What are these guys doing? It's mainly been brothers around your age. Could you explain to people where do you think this is coming from? Sometimes it could be like an idea, like somebody could suggest like, oh, let's go in the store and do this. But some people, it's like bored. Peer pressure, are you Peer saying? Peer pressure. Got something to prove to somebody or just trying to impress, like show how bad you are, how bad you could be. Basically the same thing he said. They just want to show how tough they are and – um like try to impress people, they may be like class clowns or like clowns, try to make people, they just want to get a laugh or something like that, so they do something stupid. And um, I guess their friends like it sometimes, most of the time. <clears throat> most of the time. Is it a problem for you guys? Is it like something that you feel now that you have to fight against because a lot of people see young black people or young minority people as being a real problem in this community right now. Uh, my name is Marquise McCoy. Uh, I, don't find, I, don't have, I don't find a problem because I know who I am. You know, because if somebody want to do something, I ain't, I ain't got to go with the, I ain't got to bandwagon with them. No, I'm just. Uh, basically, because it seems to be so much of a problem with particularly young African Americans in these recent stories, that becomes like a label for the rest of society to put on young, Brothers exactly who look like you and who are your age. Can you deal with that? Do you feel the pressure of that with these recent events or does it not have any impact on your life? Hi, I'm Andreas Oliver and it does have a lot of impact on my life because people look at me differently now from what happened at State Fair, what happened at Mayfair, what happened at the lake, the, the corner store. Really, I just, it hurts me kind of, not kind of, but hurts me a lot because a lot of people look at me differently they just talk to other people about me, really whisper about me. Yeah, it kind of hurts. Well, how do we deal with this? What, what do we do to send a message that perhaps to convince people that it's not all young people that are doing this, but even more importantly, how do you reach the kind of young people who are committing this kind of stuff? I hate to say my name again. All right. Uh, the, a solution is to deal with it is 
just um lead by example youths um getting like groups like this leading by example doing positive things in a community that grabs the attention of other youths who get interested like hey i seen you on the news my god jonathan he said i seen you on the news dave and he was like wow what were you on the news for no i was like something positive you know it's just <laughs> it's just attention grabbing and it's just things that you know if you're doing good and you lead by example Others are going to try to follow with you, and they're going to get on the right track like you. What, what would you guys say would be the percentage of young people trying to do good in this community? Because I really get the sense a lot of people think you are all sort of different and atypical. Are most of your friends as positive-minded as you, or do you feel some of them are more like followers who do the wrong thing because they follow the wrong people but are basically still good people? Deal, address whether or not 70%. most of your friends, are, are, do they know these issues are important and are they working to be positive about it? Well, I think it's only 1% of the young youth out here trying to do right because most of the people just trying to be cool, trying to get their faces known in Milwaukee. You say it's only 1% trying One, to do right. 1%. So 99% are doing wrong, you think? Pretty much. No, it's that's, only, it's only, it's that's not, pretty it's depressing. It's not, it's really, but look. It's this not, is it's, opinion. It's really not, it's not that many, it's not too many people out here trying to do good. Mm -hmm. So, really. A lot, it was a lot of people at the lake True. doing a lot of bad stuff at Mayfair. Same stuff. And they all the same people. So I think it's only like 1%. Do you have anything to say to that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually uh, disagree with the whole 1% percentage thing you got going. I think there's way more uh, young black kids trying to do stuff because if you look at the graduating classes and the percentage of people that's going off to college, you will see that it's way higher than that and that they're really trying to do something with their life. I do think it is a really high number of kids that aren't though. I say it's about 60% that are trying to do something, maybe 40% that's just living basically that's just living day by day just showing out for their friends just doing whatever they feel like doing i do think it's a very high number but not 99 percent. <laughs> <laughs> and i think the media has a lot to play in terms of the perception of young black people in the media so some people watching the media might think it's only one percent marcel mccoy is joined to discussion i like to get his perspective on young black young black males like yourself basically have become a stereotype in this town in terms for criminal behavior. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about that? Uh, I feel that. <clears throat> Put it close to your mouth. Repeat the question. Young black males have become a stereotype in this community. A negative stereotype. Do you think that's fair? I don't think it's fair. I think it's the reputation that, that us as youth have made. Mm -hmm. we, we can have no choice but to accept the stereotype, but it's gonna be stereotypes. But if we, like, we give a name for ourselves, you know, is how we act, we, we become a stereotype. And that is, I think, what these stories State Fair Park and River West have done. The perception is that well, all you young black kids act like that, and that's why they're getting so afraid of you. How do we deal with that? How do we address that? Well, I don't think, I don't think all of us act like that. I think I agree with her estimate. It's like 60 that's doing right, and it's 40 that's, you know, doing, doing, doing what they want to do. But... You, I don't know how we can deal with it, but everybody going to be stereotyped. Mm -hmm. But it's all about the image we set forth and how we conduct ourselves in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's like we just do things like this. Just, mm -hmm. you know, like show them that we all are not, uh, we all don't act a fool when we go somewhere. Maybe just as a closing comment from some people, what, what's good about being a young person in Milwaukee these days? There's a lot of opportunity here, but there isn't. A lot of, cause, cause we, as African-American youth, people as like, what they seen on worldstarhiphop.com, you know, the, the State Fair incident, that's just gonna make everybody look like, wow, really? This, this how Milwaukee is. People not gonna wanna come here. So that's gonna, Stop some type of opportunity from coming here, but we still got some. And what's bad about it is people trying to get known for dumb stuff. In terms of what these issues we're talking about, is the way to solve it? Is it like collecting this? We all got to get on the same page? Come to COA. <laughs> okay. Come to COA. Go to Houghton Youth. Works for me. Or get a job.
Alrighty. <laughs>